let's have a, a closer look at this sort of the internal risk management functions. So, uh, from your experience and the people that you have dialogue with in the marketplace, you know, how are the internal risk management functions within the banks responding to the crisis? I mean, one assumes there's been a lot of soul searching going on. Uh, well, it's, it's true that um, the, the, the profession has been under some criticism, uh, both from, from the public uh, and, and also you know, from many authorities and, and governments. Um, I, I don't think they are too much to blame, to be honest. Um, I think they have uh, uh, responded magnificently to the crisis. Uh, if I looked, for instance, of uh, the way that um, various risk management divisions in large banks uh, have, have reacted to shortages of liquidity uh, in, in rebalancing of portfolios, uh, in, uh, in, in addressing um, the, the, the you know, uh, structural changes in, in, in the nature of their uh, portfolio, for instance, credit, I think they have done a very good job. Um, they also have done a, a good job in, in, in dialoguing with regulators. Um, um, and, and if you look at uh, BIS, for instance, in particular, or here in you know, the, the various um, consultation of, um, of um, FSA, uh, I think the industry uh, has, has responded very well. But that being said, um, the, 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 the risk management community has, has a, I think, has a fundamental positioning problem that um, they highlighted for long. Um, so they are generally considered as the traffic warden of the finance industry, whereas there should be the co-pilot. Uh, they should be in a position where they have a much more a business productive relationship with the business lines, with the finance function, you know, with the other parties involved, so that not only they focus on controlling the level of exposure, but they also advise on whether the uh, organization can better balance the short term versus the long term of various nature of risk or across various um, um, business or geographical um, units. Actually, when you read some of the reports, including the one from the G20, you know, this is part of the recommendations that, you know, that this, uh, this, this balance of, uh, you know, in terms of business management uh, is, um, uh, is, is uh, or its management is improved and, and definitely there is a better role and, and perhaps a more motivating role for risk manager to try to achieve that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, do you think there's also, uh, there needs to be more importance from a board level laid on the, you know, what the risk manager thinks, because there have been examples where risk management have, you know, raised concerns and they've been ignored. So do you think there is an issue in terms of not only that things are implemented downwards within all the organisation, but the dialogue also goes upwards? Uh, certainly, certainly. And actually, you know, this is all part of the, of the governance debate. You know, uh, what, uh, actually, it's a power issue. It's, it's not really it's only a positioning issue. Um, it's a... Uh, um, there is an entire yeah, governance problem that uh, needs the role of a risk manager to be redefined. And that's going on. In very, very, as you know, there is a report uh, that has been ordered by, by the um, uh, Treasury um, um, to, to, to look at this particular problem. I think the, the report is due to come out sometime this summer. Uh, and that's for the UK, but you know, there are similar discussions in other countries. So, so possibly the role of a, of a risk manager and, and, and this, uh, its, its, its power um, in the organization uh, has, has to be redefined. But, but coming back from the initial question, I think risk managers have done, have a, have done a, a pr pretty good job. Um, you, you have to think that, uh, to some extent, this, is, um, this function is relatively new. Uh, it's, it's developed over you know, the last actually two decades, but mostly the last decade. Um, and one of the uh, big problems, what was also highlighted by most of the reports, and, um, um, has been that the, the uh, uh, innovation in the finance industry has outpaced the capability um, of, of risk management. Uh, so is it a matter of um, the resources allocated? Is it a matter of concentration of skills? Uh, is, is, it a, is it a matter of incentive? So uh, probably all of that. Uh, and, and, and that has to be addressed. But, but in, in general terms, it's, it's a continuous evolution process. Mm -hmm. So you don't recognize arguments that would say you need to just overhaul the entire infrastructure because it's too bedeviled with conflicts and these problems are too entrenched? I understand it is tempting. Uh, it is tempting given the gravity of what occurred. But you know, if it takes 
10 to 20 years to develop this sort of complexity and organization. Um, look at just, you know, the, the effort uh, of, of the BIS, I mean, the, the, uh, the BCBS. Uh, you know, it, it, it took almost, uh, almost a decade to come out, you know, the, the, the latest version of Basel II. Uh, it's a lot of effort, a lot of discussion, a lot of modeling, lots of uh, rule development. So it's very difficult to overall all that, you know. It's, it's like in our industry, in the IT industry, you know, an operating system. You, don't, you just can decide to rip and replace an operating system because you had a, you know, a crash one time. So you're probably uh, better off just trying to fix it and improve it over time. Maybe come out with a, a new version uh, over the years. So. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people would be surprised to hear you sort of defend the risk management function and argue that it's done quite a good job. Maybe it's done quite a good job in terms of crisis management, in terms of responding to the problems, mm -hmm. but you know, there'll be a lot of people out there who would say, come on, you know, they have really been asleep at the wheel. Most would recognize that um, risk management is one of the many uh, business management elements in, in a financial organization. Uh, financial organization is very complex, there is uh, um, various a lot of competition in the industry. Uh, it's, it's very difficult to be successful uh, and to reward both the clients and the shareholders um, and to have a sustainable business. And that requires a lot of skills. Uh, a lot of management function, and risk management is just one of them. Uh, risk management, to some extent, is an important one. It's, it's probably the, the nervous system of, uh, of, of, of um, uh, banking and, and financial management. Um, but, but possibly when something goes wrong, uh, you cannot just blame one of the functions. It's probably uh, you know, a, a set of things that together have, have led to a situation. Mm -hmm.